Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC showing you today our top five off-road and trail hydration packs. All right, everyone, if there's one thing I know for certain, it's that we do not have a shortage of hydration packs to choose from a Rocky Mountain. The difficult part is knowing which one you feel is gonna be best for you. So today we just wanna help you out, give you a good starting point. So on the table, I have five of some of our top picks in our best selling mid to large size hydration packs. So I'm just gonna go through and briefly talk about some of the key features and the highlights, why we like these packs, why we put them into our top five, just to give you a good starting point. So these packs really think of the rider that's looking for a lot of storage capacity, but additional space to carry some of your gear, your tools, your food. So your all day rides, even a multiple day ride. So as I talk about these, just remember we have product spotlights where I talk about them in full detail. So when you see one that you like, watch that spotlight, that's gonna help you out. Now, if you are looking for more of a race style hydration pack, one that is minimalistic and lightweight. We have a lot of those to choose from as well, but today we're just talking about your mid and large size packs. So without further ado, let's get to pack number one. All right, so pack number one, this is the Atlas coming from Ogeo. I really like the Atlas for a couple reasons. Price point, you're sub $100, so it's affordable. But also, I think this pack size really bridges the gap well. For more of that race style hydration pack I talked about where it's minimalistic, before you get to some of your larger hydration packs that are out there. So you're gonna have a three liter hydration bladder in this that comes included. And then you're gonna see you have a little bit extra storage capacity along with that. You've got this large storage compartment here in the front. You can see all the way down to the bottom. But then also, you've got the large compartment where your water bladder lives. What I like about this though is that you have this insulation fabric on the inside. They say it keeps your drinks cooler up to 30% longer. And you could use this water bladder compartment to store some additional items if you did want to. So that's your storage capacity. Construction is really good. They use this mini ripstop honeycomb material along with some 420 denier. So great durability. If you look at the straps, very comfortable pack. You have padding on the straps as well as the back here, but I also really like that their strap system, you have this pivoting buckle here in the center. So what's nice about this, it doesn't bind up, so it just allows the pack to really work and move well with the rider. So again, this is the Atlas from Ogeo, three liter hydration bladder included, great size, bridging that gap, overall rock solid pack. All right, so moving on down, we have the Knack Pack coming from Climb. So with the Knack Pack, you step up to about $100, so you do bump up in price a little bit, but at that price, there's some features that we really like about this pack, and also, you are gonna get more storage capacity than what we just saw with the Atlas coming from Ogeo. Now, one thing I do wanna point out right off the bat with this, something important to know, does not come included with a water bladder. That's the one downfall that I think the Knack Pack has. So just know if you're picking this up, you want to have a water bladder, you got to get that separate, and we do have those available on our website. Also, for you snowmobilers out there, this pack was designed with snowmobiling in mind, so there are a couple features that are snowmobile specific. You have a probe and a shovel holder on the sides of this pack. So if you do both activities, this could be a really crossover pack. But let me show you some of the features that I like so much about this. If you start with the straps here, very comfortable straps that Climb uses. You can see that buckle in the center that's pivoting, just like we saw at that Atlas from Ogeo. Also, you can see you do have some pockets here on those straps. But you look at the front, a lot more storage capacity here. You're gonna have about five or six pockets on the front side of this. So you can see large storage compartment here in the front, mesh pockets on the side, molded goggle pocket up here at the top. So you keep your goggles or a spare lens in there. Then you have one massive pocket for your hydration bladder, and you could put additional items in there as well. But one feature that I really like that you're not gonna see on any of the other packs today is that included with the knack pack, you have a tool pack. So this just straps right into the pack itself. You can see this is plenty big. It's gonna give you plenty of additional storage capacity as well as organizing your tools for your ride. So I really like that it has that included. So again, that is the knack pack coming from Climb. All right, pack number three in our lineup, we have the Portage coming from Fox Racing. So the Portage price point, about 140 bucks. Now when you compare this to the NAC pack from Climb we just showed you, size-wise they're about the same. So this is a 16 liter pack, but a big difference here is that the hydration bladder does come included with the Portage. There's a couple of features that I do like about this. If you are a mountain biker like myself, you do some cross training, this pack actually has some features that are more specific to mountain biking, so it helps bridge that gap. And I'm gonna show you those right now. So first off, look at the front here. You've got three pockets on the front plus one very large storage compartment, so plenty of storage capacity. But underneath here, if I undo the zipper, it's kind of hidden almost, you have this piece of mesh that rolls out. You can see you've got two small clips. So those actually will come up and clip to these little 
loops that you have up here on the top. So I'll do that up real quick. And the purpose for this little mesh compartment is if you're mountain biking and you want to take your helmet off and you need a place to store it, you can actually just stick it right here in this mesh compartment. But also, if you wanted to, you could take this out, just use it to store maybe a coat or a sweatshirt, something that you might be wearing as you start to peel layers throughout the day. Also, undo this real quick. You will notice that on the sides here, you have these compression straps. That's to hold a full face mountain bike helmet. So, depending on what you'll be doing, whether you're riding a dirt bike or for mountain biking, you have some features that are going to cater to each. So again, lots of storage capacity. If we look at the straps here, very comfortable straps. They're nice and thin, a lot of mesh. They do have padding. I like that you have this EVA foam padding here on the back side as well. Your hydration bladder, you can see there's your zipper. It's just going to live right there inside. But also, one thing I like, we haven't seen this yet, you do have a waist belt on the portage. On a pack about this size, I really like having a waist belt. To me, it just helps secure the pack a little bit better to the lower part of the rider's back so it's not bouncing around. So I'm a big advocate for having a waist belt on a pack. But again, that is the Portage from Fox Racing. Now remember, you also have the Convoy from Fox Racing, which is very similar to the Portage. Difference is it's a little bit smaller, has one less pocket on the outside. Price point goes down a little bit, but it still has those mountain bike features that I just showed you. That's the Portage from Fox Racing. All right, so the fourth pack in our top five, this is the Recon coming from Zaxby. Now, if you're not familiar with Zaxby, they're actually an Australian company. Some features about their packs that are very unique. We have a couple of riders that use these and they really like them. So this is a 13 and a half liter storage capacity. I think they're selling themselves short just a little bit because there's a lot of storage in this pack. You're about 150 bucks on price point. But looking at the front, you've got five storage pockets. You also do have this large pouch in the front as well. Three liter hydration bladder comes included. But here's some of the standout features. The construction on this is a 1680 denier poly fabric, super heavy duty. So I think it's one of the most durable hydration packs that is out there. There is one downfall to that. That 1680 denier does add some weight to the pack. So this is the heavier pack in our lineup today. But the big standout feature about the Zach Speed packs is how these integrate with other accessories from Zach Speed. So you see nice, big, thick shoulder straps. You've got mesh as well as some padding. Waist belt, I already talked about why I like those. But when I undo this, I'm going to undo this pouch right here on the inside. So this will zip down and around. When I open this up, you've got this polyurethane backpack protector inside there. Now here's where it gets unique. You see these straps coming down. This is what they call their configure eight ladder lock system. So these are actually your shoulder straps. So this is how you adjust the length of the shoulder straps if you want to. But here's where it gets interesting. Zach Speed also has a roost guard a tool vest that integrates directly with this Configure 8 system. So what you would do, if you want to have a roost deflector that integrates with the backpack, you buy the roost deflector separate, you pull the shoulder straps completely out, and then the roost deflector has straps just like these ones that install the exact same way. So if you want to have a backpack and a roost deflector combo, you can do that. You don't have to wear the two separate. Again, they also have their Octane tool vest. Same deal, integrates the exact same way. So again, you can interchange the accessories from Zach Speed depending on the setup that you want to run. And lastly, what I like is see this waist belt here. You can actually, you've got two buckles on there. So this actually does come apart. They actually have a tool pouch that goes around the waist that integrates with these buckles. So that's what's pretty unique about Zach Speed. You've got the excellent construction, but also depending on the setup that you're wanting to run, whether you want to run a roost guard with your pack or a tool vest or even a tool pouch around the waist, they give you the different options. Now, last thing I will point out, this is the Recon. This is about their mid-size pack. You also have the Sprint, which is a little bit smaller, and then you have the Dakar, which is going to be the largest pack. So you do have three different options as far as your storage capacity, but all three integrate, integrate the exact same way with that roost deflector, the tool vest, as well as that pouch around the waist. Again, this is the Recon coming from Zach Speed. All right, so the fifth and final pack in our lineup, this is the Liat Hydra GPX 4.5 chest protector. Yes, I said chest protector because, just like with that Zach Speed we just showed you, this is a hydration pack and chest protector combo. But there are some differences that I want to point out right off the bat to distinguish this from that Zach Speed. So you are going to bump up to, in price point, you're about 220 bucks for this, but here's what I like about this. The chest protector itself, much more current with the Zach Speed. I think the roost deflector is a little bit dated, kind of old school. Also with the Liat, this is going to be CE certified level two for impacts. With the Zach Speed, it's just going to be a roost deflector, so it's not CE certified. So a little bit more protection with this chest protector in the front, but here's what you need to know is that with the Hydra, that these two have to be together for the system to work. You cannot take the chest protector off and wear the pack by itself. So that is one of the downfalls to it. But 
there are some features about this pack and the setup that I really like. So 25 liter storage capacity, lots of storage space. You got a goggle pocket up here in the front, but here's one feature I like that we haven't seen yet. Down here on the bottom, you can see you've got the zipper here. If you get caught in some rain, undo the zipper, out comes your bright yellow rain cover. So you can essentially make this pack waterproof. That rain cover comes out, just goes right over the pack. I like that it has that feature. Also, with your hydration bladder on the inside, it's a two liter hydration bladder. Also, what's nice though is that they have their hands-free setup ready to rock with this pack. So as a rider, if you wanna go hands-free, there's just some Velcro on the SIP tube it installs inside of your helmet between the shell and the cheek pad. You can go hands-free, but there's also a 90 degree bite valve that you can just install depending on the setup that you want to run. So plenty of storage capacity. Here's my one nitpick with this pack. It's white. I don't know why you'd make a riding pack white. We actually have a rider here at Rocky Mountain that owns one. He said after two rides, his was pretty dirty. They're very hard to clean. So it's not a deal breaker to me, but Leah, for real, change the color of this thing. Now, if we look at the front here, we've already talked about this chest protector, CE certified level two. It is compatible with neck braces. That's something that Liat is known for. So if you wanna rock this setup with a neck brace, it will allow you to do so. You can see you've got these large clips right here on the side. So you put this on, pretty much the exact same way that you would the 4.5 root chest protector. But then when you look at the back pad, your CE certified level two back pad as well. That's something that the Zaxby does not have. So you're getting back protection as well as chest protection. But what's nice though is that this back protector, it does add a little bit of weight to the pack. So if you want to, it actually just zips out, just takes a few seconds, very easy to do. So again, you do have a few options of how you want to run this setup. So one more time, that is the Liat Hydra GPX 4.5 chest protector. Again, great protection in the front as well as the back. And if you want to run a hydration pack and protection in the front at the same time, great setup to have. All right, everyone, so that does it for our top five trail and off-road hydration packs. Hopefully this video has given you a good starting point and you have some sort of idea of which one you feel is gonna be best for you. But remember, watch that product spotlight where I talk about in full detail, that's gonna help you out. If you do have any other questions or comments about these, you can write those below and we will get your questions answered. And to pick up your next hydration pack, it's this simple. You can just click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Remember, orders over $75 ship free. This is not all of them. We have a lot of other great hydration packs to choose from, so make sure to shop those as well. Get subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you like this top five, you wanna see more, just like it. That way you get all set up on your gear, everything that you need to get rocking and rolling. I am Chase, we'll see you on the trails.